Let's have a chat with the lead doctor here at this surgery. Uh, morning, Abdul. Hi. How is this working for you at the moment? Because you've got this combination sure. of, of uh, consultations, haven't you? Yeah, we have, uh, Nick. Um, so we are doing face-to-face uh, -face consultations. We are doing online consultations, uh, so through video, phone calls, and we also do e-consultations as well. So there's a combination of access that uh, we have here. Is it working well for you and your patients, though? Well, given the circumstances, it's the best we can do, given the fact that there's an ongoing pandemic, given the fact that there's, you know, workforce shortages within primary care, with all that in mind, and also the demand for appointments as well. Do you want to go back to just face-to-face, -face, though? I think it's what's right and what's safe. So there's an ongoing pandemic. We have to provide face-to-face -face where it's required and it's best to do that. At the same time, we have patients who would want remote consultations, video, or on the phone, for example, where they're working perhaps away, they're on holiday, but at the same time, they want access to me, their own GP, rather than somebody uh, where, where they're working, for example. So what I would say to people uh, about GP appointments is that, look, we will do our best, we are doing our best to cater for as many patients as we can, but we have to realise that with these challenging circumstances, there's fewer GPs than ever, uh, resources aren't um, finite or infinite, shall I say, and the demand for appointments is always going up. But we are doing our best to provide face-to-face, -face, remote appointments, video consultations, um, emails and e-consults. Uh, we're trying to provide as much as we can, but there is a limit, uh, as you can understand.